Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. And this is the very first in my series that's beyond the beginner's tutorial, but gets into uh, other issues, and I'm going to label this the Projects tutorial. And this is my first project. And in order to do this, the first thing I wanted to do was kind of lay out something I like to call pseudo code, kind of a handwritten guide as to what I want to do. Uh, and I actually took, drew, took some time and drew some pictures and I actually did this before I started writing uh, the app. Uh, so this is all before. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create an app that had three buttons basically. Uh, here I used stars. But what I basically wanted to set normally is the round buttons. And what happens is when you click on it, it'll change colors while when you press it, I said while press, but I've, I've since modified that. I've settled <laughs> for just when you click it, it changes colors, and it plays a musical tone. Those are the two things that I was looking for. All right, and then I want to be able to add settings that allow the change the buttons from stars or squares. So instead of this, you'll have this to press. Now, I want to do that. And this allows uh, the changing of the sounds from instrument one to instrument two. Uh, in this case, after I got this, I went out and I looked for some instrument sounds, and I've got piano and clarinet. All right, here's my to-do list uh, to create all the needed assets and get them loaded into Android Studio, which I have already done. Um, I needed to make the buttons toggle or change out on touch, uh, which I have done. And I need to make the buttons play musical tunes on touch, which I have done. And if I were going to do this on an iteration uh, model, that would be my first, my first group of, of needs to be done. Uh, and then the second group is create the setting menu, which I have not done. Making the setting menu do the following upon touch. I need to be able to load new images into the in image views upon command. Uh, changes the circles to stars or squares. And I need to be able to load new sound set upon command change the piano to clarinet and vice versa so that's the goal and I'm pretty close to what I wanted to create uh, if I do say so myself uh, the musical button one is what I called it and when you click it plays a musical tone and it changes the color of the button to indicate that it has been pressed although you can't really tell very much on the yellow but it does change and I went ahead and I went in here and I actually created a uh, land and a, a, a portrait and a landscape model so that when you turn your phone sideways, you'd still be able to play it. Um, now, you, you don't need these images loaded up in source uh, here because what I ended up doing is I ended up doing them all in uh, dynamically within the activity Java but it makes it a lot easier to line these things up uh, if you put the sources in here even though it gets overridden by the Java and I'll show you why because without the sources this is what it looks like yeah that's <laughs> that's not very easy to to manage uh, so there's that so put the sources in it makes it easier to uh, to work with and now all these files over here the drawables I will put on my website so you don't have to recreate them because that took a long time and uh, I'm not really a graphics artist person as you can tell from my really super cool buttons <laughs> but I have managed and uh, the raw file uh, which I put the mp3 sounds which I will also put on my website now how to create a raw file I found the easiest way to do this uh, because when you start there won't be one is just to go into your drawable go and show and explore All right new click new folder name it raw and then as soon as you put these files into your raw folder it will show up on your uh, project uh, without files in it it won't show up so just so you know that alright so um, again I've got this light so I don't get the er many errors so let's go look at the main activity Java and see the the things that I've done there in order to get this set up to work the way I want it to. Um, notice there's a lot of variables. <laughs> the reason I use variables is because 
variables you can change very easily uh, with if else statements. So I gave everything basically that I'm going to use in the uh, settings menu a variable name so that I could use an if else statement and then very easily change um, that asset into a different asset. So right here, um, image views, media player, image view, item button, big. This is the very first top button that appears and I assigned it to uh, button blue A and then when you press the button, the pressed, I've been pressed appearance is uh, button big 2 which is button blue B and that pattern falls throughout. Uh, I also have sound big which is signed to this which I use instead of uh, the actual putting it into the actual calling statement. And then we get into here to the actual uh, methods and I broke these up into separate methods so they would be easier to work with. Uh, I, initially I signed image 1 set image resource and I very first thing I did was give those uh, um, image views uh, 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 an image and so that's right right there which we got from up above alright now your add listener on button one what I've done is I've added uh, these listeners the set on touch listener um, because I discovered uh, when you use the on touch listener uh, the on click listener uh, it on click listeners wait for you to release the button and so when you release the button and then it goes off but for my purposes I want mine to do click it changes instead of click it doesn't change then release then it does something so as soon as you click it I want it to do something so that's why that's a set on touch listener instead of on click listener alright so within here course we've got our image button signed our image one signed and our sound line sound large assigned the image button large set on touch listener all right so we've got this and the required requirements for this sound large start now this is the variable that I signed above and it plays the sound when you set on when you click off when you get the on touch listener set off it does this then it goes to the toast then it changes the image one to big to the button big two which is the lighter version of the button and then it does this handler now this handler uh, is the, from what I understand the best way to cause a method to pause just momentarily and my mind pauses for like two tenths of a second and then runs this and reassigns the image source to the original big button uh, the button big so that's what that does and then a return false because uh, you have to have to do that with the boolean boolean and that's basically r rinsed and repeated uh, every single ad listener one two and three so there that's what that is so it's very simple easy to follow uh, and next, when we come back, we'll be working with this problem of getting everything in the, in the settings to adapt to an if-else statement. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to throw uh, a variable this direction. And if this variable equals option 1, 2, or 3, then you reassign these based on that. So that's what you've got to look forward to. Well, I hope this has uh, been educational and you've learned a little bit. Um, this is H. John, and uh, I'll see you around.